All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the reaction video. I have my official Red Dead Redemption 2 little canteen mug here. I'm a little sick, so I'm trying to get better and uh, drinking some fluids while I can. But the official gameplay just came out for Red Dead Redemption 2. This is the first time I think we're ever seeing anything about it. This is the first time I'm watching it. And uh, if you guys didn't know, GTA 5 was one of my favorite games of all time. Red Dead Redemption was one of my favorite games of all time. And this seems to be kind of a blending of those two worlds, which literally I couldn't be more excited for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see how it is. And let's let's react to this a little bit together here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Red Dead Redemption 2 official gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably hang you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> coming buddy that's a great in the way to start 1800s, it in the 1800s america was evolving on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world new immigrants arrived thriving outposts became towns and civilization was spreading rapidly into the huge wild and lawless frontier with red dead redemption 2 rockstar games aims oh, to create a living world so that's not simply open but deeper. Come on, pretty boy. More interactive and detailed than ever. Pretty boy. Combining action, storytelling, we need to get those people warm and fed, and gameplay in new ways. As you live, ride, and fight to survive yes. as an outlaw in a notorious gang. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. Bro, it's just starting to. The game is an attempt to capture this pivotal moment when the age of outlaws was ending and the modern world was born. There is a huge world to explore, set across a range of America's heartland and frontier. From harsh mountain trails and dense forests to untamed swamplands and sweeping deserts, rugged livestock towns to modernizing cities and much more. It looks All populated so with a diverse good. cast of characters from turn of the century life. Now shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. You play as Arthur Morgan, a trusted senior gun in the Vanderling gang, a band of outlaws and outcasts on the run from the pressures of civilized life. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. Each Dude. time they're forced to flee an area, the gang sets up a camp as a base. This is where gang members eat, sleep, perform chores, play games, and share stories. The gambling anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. These are the people Arthur calls family, and you will get to know each gang member over the course of the game. So. You save the silly bastard's life, and you and him go robbing sheep. Helping the camp with food and supplies will keep morale high, while spending time with other gang members can reveal new secrets, fun things to do, and opportunities for mischief. How about you and me go and redistribute some property? In and out of camp, the world is alive and responds to the player. Well, ain't this a rare treat? And your guns aren't the only way to interact with the environment. That's a pretty good way to, to do it, though. Rider. That's a nice horse. Tuck yourself into trouble with a local tough guy. Clear out. Or out of trouble with a town sheriff. Or intimidate a witness into silence. And more. Keep your mouth shut. You're dead, friend. You don't want to involve yourself with this. Confrontations can be escalated or diffused. Take it easy. Do what you want. I don't care. You can form friendships. God. You did it. Or make enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch! Your actions have consequences, <gasps> and it's up to you to decide just how honorable Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> Shooting and fighting have both been radically improved to make combat deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon has unique characteristics Dude. with realistic reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action in a gunfight. Dude, the weapon swapping looks so good. 
In a similar way, the bond with your horse is crucial and changes based on your treatment of the animal. Hold still, girl. Some breeds are better suited for certain tasks. I got a fella been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. Your saddle and saddlebags can store extra weapons, along with supplies and animal carcasses that you pick up while out roaming or hunting. Over time, the bond between you and your horse will grow, making them easier to control in tense situations. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. <laughs> a rich and varied ecosystem thrives in the world. The elf, Full dude. of predators, prey, and scavengers. All smart and sometimes deadly. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Hunting helps the camp or earns you money. Wound an animal and you'll have to track them down. Animal pelts and other items you find can be traded for cash to use at general stores, gunsmiths, saloons, and elsewhere. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. This is a world it's that is rich so in depth big, and dude. detail. All designed to be explored on horseback or on foot. As you live the fateful journey of a gang of outlaws on the run across America. Heist finally coming out, baby! <laughs> In the next gameplay video, we'll look at missions, activities, enemy gangs, robberies, other things to do, and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Deadeye system. Bro, that was my favorite part of Red Dead, dude. Oh my gosh, dude! The, the, my first re this video was t entirely captured on in-game footage. On either a P I don't know whether it was PS4 or Xbox One. I don't know who Rockstar has a bigger, bigger like, connection with, because usually they always pick one. Let me see if it shows it at the end. Bro, that was on- that wasn't even on PC. That was PS4 and Xbox One. The number one thing that, like, caught my eye and showed me how good the graphics are going to be on this game Okay, watch this part again right here. Red Dead Redemption 2, watch this Rockstar part. Games aims to create a this. living world that's not simply open. This part. Okay, so look. He's like, he just got thrown out a window. He's pretty clean. Everything. But he lands in the dirt, gets boy. up, More interact and look how dirty he is. Dude, that is insane. The graphics in this game are going to be so good please for the love of everything no crashes and and good frame rate and this is going to be the best looking game of all time i i legitimately think this is going to be the best looking game of all time um so parts i'm most excited for is obviously exploring everything and games like this exploring is like the the overall best part of everything it, it seems like they've they've made a lot more decision make th this is also really cool there's like new kind of modern towns last time there weren't really any modern towns it was basically just like you know like every single town w acted pretty much the same and this one they seem to have made a bunch of different kind of like versions of towns and stuff like that they've got like people like this who are like the magic show people they've got the saloon people you know they've got a whole bunch of different cast of characters and everything like that that you're going to be able to meet which is absolutely amazing <coughs> bro this looks so good man I'm so excited. Like, the open world, like, you, you can even see in shots like this, there's something burning that maybe was you. Maybe that's something that you can go rescue. It seems a lot like, a lot like Skyrim in a way, where as you're going around, as you're doing things, there's a lot of interactions you have just on the road. Uh, Red Dead 1 pretty much had, like, or, or Red Dead Redemption 1 pretty much had that kind of thing, but it seems like it's a lot more part of the game. This is the actual gameplay HUD here, so... We got your uh, this yellow marker marking this. This is like actual gameplay. Obviously, they removed a lot of the HUD, but uh, except for the mini map. But bro, it looks so good. It looks like there's gonna be a bunch of stuff to do. There's gonna be kind of like a roaming camp where you can. Uh, I guess maybe that's your fast travel point. Maybe that's where you uh, play. Uh, and then you've got your band of outlaws and everything like that that you help hunt for. The uh, the animals in this game. Where, where's the part with the animals? The horseback combat looks insane. Like you can, your horse seems like it's actually a lot more useful. Hopefully, you can't accidentally shoot your horse. Uh, I think this is the animal part. Oh yeah. So they have like alligators in the swamp. They have like the vultures swooping in for for kills. You've got the bears fighting wolves. It's it's, it's like Far Cry on steroids with the animals interactions and everything like that. 
Uh, there's bow gameplay. You can enter an animal. There's like a six sense mode. Trading. Uh, I think it's really cool how you can like literally put the animals on your horse, take it to a general store, and sell everything. I think that's really really cool because he's he had like a deer and then some rabbits or something hanging from it as well. Uh, seems like the characters are really cool. There's a lot of different ways to go about everything, dude. I am so incredibly excited for this game, dude. Holy cow. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this trailer was. Um, I think for me, graphics and the number of people and different interactions you can have, like, like right here, you can actually see. It's kind of hard to see because of the YouTube thing. But, um, you have, like, different options. You can aim your gun. You can lead your horse. Uh, but where is it? Greet, antagonize, aim weapon, or stranger. I don't know what the stranger does, but I'm guessing that's like aiming your weapon at him uh, instead of just like straight out using your gun. You can like call out, greet, you can talk to people. Uh, like there's so many different decision makings and I, I think that's one of my favorite part about games is like how different different people can have different experiences because they play it uh, a lot of different ways. Rob, defuse, uh, antagonize all that stuff with the guy aiming a gun at you. That's just amazing. So let me know what your favorite part about this is. And uh, I will talk to you guys very, very soon in another video whenever more information about this game comes out because I am incredibly excited. All right, guys. Peace out. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And adios, my friends.